Hi, good morning from Kid Focus Dentistry. I am Dr. No, and I'm very excited to share this video with you guys. This video is really meant to serve as a guide to help you utilize all the wonderful exercise video that we have on our website and really help you navigate through them. So I'm just gonna go through these as questions that I get from all of our comments through our videos and hopefully these will help. So the first question is, how do you diagnose your problem? Uh, well, this depends on a lot of things. The best way is to diagnose by a myofunctional therapist or someone like a dentist that really understands the problem. I strongly recommend for you to look at the link of what is sunglass, what is reverse swallow, and airway videos to help you understand the dysfunction. These exercises and videos should be used for a couple of scenarios. One, you already know that you have certain problems through proper diagnosis. Two, you cannot afford the therapy and want to be better until you can get proper diagnosis. Best way to think of these videos is like any YouTube exercise video. You are doing it at your own risk and there is not really someone to help guide you to fit your specific needs. With that being said, I do not think any of these exercises will hurt you, but you might not get the result that you want right away. Okay, second, how effective are these exercises? I found that if you are doing them properly, you can only improve the overall health. The caveat to, um, is that these exercises need to be done daily and have daily integrations. Like any health journey, daily effort is much more important than the short spurt. All right, so the other question I usually get is, do I need to use a myobrace or similar devices? I think that a device like myobrace can really help you move much faster in your process. The more you wear the device, the more your tongue is to be put into proper alignment, thus also help you get there faster. My main purpose um, to use the myobrace device in the clinic is that I recognize that you cannot control your tongue dysfunction while you are sleeping. Thus, it helps this process tremendously to have a device to move uh, the tongue into proper alignment while sleeping. But the answer is no. It is not required for you to achieve your goal without a device. How effective are the exercises and when will I see the result? Unlike training your body, training your tongue so you can change things like underbite, crossbite, openbite is very age dependent. Because 95% of the dental and jaw growth are done growing around age 12, you probably will need some orthodontics help to fully correct these things. However, these exercises will help with the re relapses and the long-term health of your TMJs and lessen the additional compound effect of the incorrect muscle dysfunction. The more severe your dysfunctions and the older you are, the longer it will take to see the improvements. But I am always in the mindset of getting better is always better than continuously getting worse. And I think that you guys get to these videos because you really feel the negative effect of this dysfunction in your daily lives. And most likely, you might see it in your family members also, like your children. So I encourage to do these exercises together. Okay, so what exercise videos should you use? So we are so um, excited and happy to announce that we create videos that, will, that we will link below to help you guide through these different problems that you have and how to use the videos think. How often should you do these exercises? I think that if these exercises should be done daily for at least six months. You should not do more than three exercises at a time. Um, the hardest part is the consistency. The tongue is so innately overlooked and you never think about it and where is it at. So it takes daily focus to really think about the tongue in order to slowly to change its dysfunctions. So could doing the wrong exercise hurt you? 
Um, well, doing these exercises will only help you and will not hurt you. Doing it wrong might be another matter. So before you do the exercises, please really look at the video. Um, I'd much rather you do less repetitions and correctly doing it rather than doing a lot of repetition and doing it wrong. I recommend that in the beginning to when you do the exercises, do it with your eyes closed. So you can really feel what your tongue is doing and where it is at. Um, because the most challenging thing for someone with a mild dysfunction is the lack of ability to feel where your tongue is at and what it is doing. What does it mean when you can't do the exercise? So this is really important that you always stop and ask why you can't do an exercise. Most of the time I found that maybe someone has a restriction such as tongue tie, lip tie, lip competency, um, which is a physical restriction that not allow your tongue to move in the way uh, that it should be. Um, or maybe you haven't mastered the exercises that we recommend and you are moving too fast. So what does it mean when an exercise is easy or hard for you? So like any dysfunction, there is a range. The harder an exercise usually indicate the more severe dysfunction that is proportioned to that tongue. So really pay attention to your exercises. They can tell you a lot about your current condition of the tongue dysfunctions. So don't ever rush to an exercise, really try to focus on it and really try to master it before you push through the next exercise. So I hope this video really helped you kind of really understand the um, intricate detail before you get started. And I hope your journey with myofunction therapy will be filled with success. I know it's hard. I know that this is something that we haven't as a society and in the medical field we haven't really focused on. But you know, you are here and there that's mean that you really feel all the negative effect of that in your daily lives. So good luck on the journey. Thank you and goodbye.